This is one meeting that will determine several things in our lives. I'd like you to shade your mindset right now. It doesn't matter what has been kicking on you. God cannot use you until God has proved you. God cannot bless you until God has found you in the covenant. God cannot intervene in your moment until God has seen the mindset you are heart desire. What actually are you asking for? What is the ultimate, the utmost in your heart? I am trusting God this morning that every one of us will live here with a personal encounter. The Lord will be resetting your mind and this week the Lord will be moving in your favor. You know, when God moves in your favor, it doesn't matter who is on your way and what is on your way. They will be consumed. Come on, are we here? Yes, sir. The Bible said that our God rise on the wings of the wind. And when God is riding on the wings of the wind, he has a target. He has a destination. May your house become God's target this week. Amen. And may everything that I vow to stop your family be granted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are taking up this meeting because we are still in the school of prayer. And we are looking at strategy to bring down the mountains on our finances. The Bible said that in every level there is profit. The Bible said that whatever you lay your hands upon to do, that the Lord will prosper it. For you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Your green shall not go dry. And whatever you do it, do your hand like this. Whatever I do it, whatsoever. prophesy to your hand. Whatsoever I do it, according to the word of God, my hand hear you the word of God. Whatsoever I do it, with you shall prosper. That is the word of God. So the only one that will not prosper is a hand that is idle. Can I say this to you? If you have ability and your hand has been idle, before the middle of the week, graciously, the Lord will engage your hands. Profitably, the Lord will engage your hands. I told you last Sunday that prayer is speaking God's word back to God. And that means that the word you have conviction about, the promise of God you are convinced about, must become a prayer bullet in your heart. This is what you said, God. That was the strategy of Moses. Say, God, no, you can't do this. You told me this. Praise God. When you are in the school of prayer, you will understand what God said. And then you will understand what the devil is saying. And you will go back to God and say, God, this is what I'm saying, but this is what you said. Come to me and do to me what you said. I believe in it. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. He said, the devil is ruling like a wounded lion. He has no permanent address. He has no permanent target. Looking for who he may devour. Looking for where to enter. Verse 9 says, resist him. Steadfastly, you have the power to stop whatsoever I want to stop you. Do I have a witness in the house? By the authority of the word of God, every satanic stopper, a sign of my way, hear the voice of the Lord. I stop you in the name of Jesus. I feel like you should pray now. Let's take about 10 lines of prayer. It's how to deal with freeing your entire life. You see, 
when a man is made well, but the environment is a problem, the man will have a problem. Every environmental orchestrated problem standing as a barrier to my finances, your time has expired. Are we here? This is my foundation that is against my destination. Are you hearing my English? I know where I'm going. But there are some things in my foundation that is saying, come back from where you're going. I want to go. But they're pulling me back. Any time of my foundation holding my, me back from my destination, I release a thunder from heaven to disconnect them from my life. To disconnect them from your life. To disconnect them from your family. In the name of Jesus. I am preparing you for warfare. Are you ready for warfare? Because you shall be free. Lanebo sikapayaga. Inanedege pasukapaya. There are some of you. I don't know the kind of head you have. Because I remember years back. A child was writing jam. Four times. He felt. She felt four times. And one of the meetings we had, a weekly meeting, the power of God came. And I, I saw a vision. And on the head of that girl, on the center head of that girl was a cowering. And I saw an invisible hand of God. And it appeared on the head of that girl and pulled away the cowering. That was a month to the next jam. She has already vowed to end up as a fashion designer who was not going to school. Today is a graduate in accounting. There are powers attempting to stop destiny. You teenagers, you are involved in the prayer. Anything in your environment, anything in your foundation, okay? Position to deposition your destiny from God's plan. They will not survive this meeting. Are we here? So get ready for God. And God is ready for you. Can I hear someone say, I am a child of God. Anointed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Licensed by grace. Therefore, in the name of Jesus. And not turning my foundation. Dragging my destiny backward. I disconnect you from my life. By fire, by thunder. Pray your destiny. I let those who pakate. Lenia paranagera. Ayala gada gada gada. Emana, emana. Lan sandayaga. Elaka patutea. Elaka patapalea. I don't know who planted you. I don't know what's your measure. And I turn in my foundation. Hold on my destiny. From my destination. Hold on my back wall. Drag on my back wall. I disconnect you. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. I disconnect my destiny. In the name of Jesus. You will move forward. For the part of the just man is like a shining light. It shine brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. A lady pasukata. La na 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 na. Ela gana manu gazanda. Eka paragada. Lady ka parana nekata. La dia parama kusapa. Ayagata. And I am planted in my foundation against my destiny. And I am planted as a cadre to attack my life, to attack my marriage, to attack my Holy Ghost fire! Look at her! Holy Ghost fire! Consume it! Stop writing and start praying. Pray the prayer into your spirit. Release your life. 
release your destiny lift your head cry to god pray your destiny out in Jesus mighty name we pray you are not in church to show the pastor how beautiful your cloth is you are in church to show God how ready your heart is that's a word for someone so that you can understand that God doesn't answer prayer because you are talking God answer prayer because your heart is ripe and ready for correction for visitation and for empowerment. You are living here. Your heart shall be empowered. You will pray. Everything in my environment. Contending with my finances. As a child of God. I declare the earth is the Lord. The fullness are all. And they that do it are all. I command them right now. To be scattered out of my world. In the name of Jesus. I'm not telling them the environment. My market environment. My business environment. My home environment. My family environment. Contend with my destiny. I come against you. I set you on fire. I bore you to Asher. The Lord is an all. I set my death in the fire. I let the empire. Iraga. 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 Pray. Jesus name we pray I remember years back the Lord showed me a vision I saw a vision of a very strong long tower and getting there I saw keys branded keys on people we know with people's name everyone on earth is like has a key in that place and they told me this is an ancient tower and I said, what are these keys for? They said they are keys that have locked up the treasure that belongs to God's people. And I said, okay. I am here. I'm here to redeem the people under me as a man of God. And they said, well, don't destroy us. Check the key and take your people. And I begin to see when I finished with that dream, there were about 65 names of the people I know. And that was the week the prosperity of our church began. Are you hearing me? But I remembered it this morning because many of you were not here then. But when I was leaving that place, I looked at that place and I sent an east wind of the Lord and the tower came down. The tower came down. We were told on Wednesday, that the strong man has no good. Elizabeth was telling us this morning. That the strong man has no good. But the good that is meant for us. He will divert it on the highway. And, and, and take it at his own. Anyone sitting on what belongs to you. As their own. Holy Ghost fire. Shall look at that today. He had a maradike. Can you sing it again? Be near Nebodike. Be near Nebodike. Be near Nebodike. He had a maradike. Do I have anyone in the house who is ready to say, Oh God, arise? Come on, shout aloud. In your strength, in your stronger power, invade the house of the strong man of my life and my family and recover my treasure. Invade the house of the strong man 
and the son man of my family and recover my treasure recover my life recover my treasure recover my life recover my treasure restore what belongs to me and the power said to the what belongs to me I will set you I send the S word of the law to begin to scatter and destroy and attack that is on a summer against my life against my family right now Jesus name we pray lift up your right hand scream like this any strong man assigned to my destiny to waste my life to suppress my life in the name of Jesus I command you all so my soul can die in la ya 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 ga da ga da ara ga da ga da ga da ga da ga da el na ba ro so te te ke de e ma no ti li a ma no de ke de il la ni a pa so ba il la ga da pa ra na na il ka pa do san de le ga da le di a pa ra na pa ra na pa ra na il ka pa de pa ra ma pa ta pa il ka pa ra na ge pa la a ya ga da ga da ga da a ya ga da ga da ga da el la ga da ga da ga da il ka ra da 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 ha el ka da Akara, Akara, Elana Pasan. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. There's something about satanic mountains, it's like a blockage. When you are trying to rise up, it will go up. When you are trying to sit down, it will come up. The intention of satanic mountain is that you will not be noticed. You will not be assessed. And you will not be reached. The Bible says, in Isaiah chapter 40, every mountain shall be leveled up so that I can pass. I can be noticed. I can be assessed. I can be reached. Come on out here. Nothing will block your destiny after this meeting. Nothing will stop your life after this meeting. Can somebody pray? You mountain of my life. Your time is over. By the east wind of the Lord. Be leveled all. Be leveled all. Be leveled all. I start as a the S wind of the Lord. The S wind of the Lord. S order 14 21. The strong S wind of the Lord. I stand on every mountain. On every mountain. Territory mountain. Foundational mountain. Foundational mountain. Marine mountain. I set it on fire. A lady passa. A yagada gada gada. Sandala. And Jesus mighty never pray. Now I'm going to take you on a series of prayers. You see, when you pray under tension and worry, you get worse. You know why? The devil says, so now me, you won't attack. And then he will he heighten his attack on you. And God will say, now me, they pray to, when you don't believe me. So you will be trapped in between. The Bible said in Exodus 14, 14, I will fight for you. That you will hold your peace. To hold your peace is to have a conviction that God is able to manage what you are passing through. And to believe that God has what it takes to overcome for you. 
Are we here? Now in Ezekiel 35, 25 and 26, he said, I am going to give something to you. Ezekiel, if you're there, Ezekiel, praise God. Ezekiel 35, verses 25 and 26. I want to show you something there, and I begin to bring you to a line of prayer that will start working inside your spirit. Are we here? I think it's um, 36. Ezekiel 36. A, a new heart and a new spirit. Verse 25 say, There will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Is somebody here? I'd just like you to come with me. This clean water is a prophecy of the coming of the Holy Spirit. Can you see it? Then will I sprinkle what? Or dirty water. He didn't say water. He said, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. And you shall be clean. It means that before God we are dirty. Things that can make you dirty is your lies, your doubt, your worry, your anger. They make us dirty before God. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. When God comes to overrule whatever is wrong in your life, he will break all protocol. Today and this week, protocols will be broken for God to help you. Yeah. Barriers will be rolled away for God to reach you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now give us verse 26. Look at what it says there. When this happens, what will happen? A new heart also will I give you a new heart. Look, my heart is new every moment. I have an assurance that the worst that can happen to me is to go to heaven. But for me to start worrying about the things God has taken position about. And they told me that when I'm going to heaven, I won't go with my wife. I won't go with my children. Are we here? They won't go with me neither. Everybody will go alone at the appropriate time. So you see, when you worry, you worry for yourself. May you not die in your worry. Yeah. Are we here? When you worry, you worry for yourself. Oh, I have, have seen mothers who so worry about how their children will survive. They die. Today, the children are millionaires. There's nothing you can add to destiny. Destiny has been made. Praise God. You need to release your faith. A new heart. Can I say to 100 people in this house? Receive ye a new heart. It's a prophecy of the scripture. A new heart also I will give you. A new spirit will I put within you. Lift up your hand. Receive you a new fire. I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of the flesh. A teachable heart. A heart that can understand the instruction. This is the scripture that connects you to prayer that brings answers. No one that ever worries can ever pray through. Are you ready now? Very shortly you sit down and we'll be done. Remember when in series of special meeting. Stand where you are and now begin to pray. Pray for God's mercy on our nation Nigeria. That for the sake of God's name and for the sake of our family, God have mercy on Nigeria. Can I hear you pray? We are interceding now. 
if you leave this nation like this, Father, we may die before our time. Lord, have mercy upon this country, Nigeria. It is our country, and we are your children, and we are in this country. Lord, have mercy. 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 Nigeria is not finished. Nigeria is in your agenda. Nigeria is your project. Lord, forgive our sins. Father, pour clean water upon Nigeria, upon Abuja, upon Lego, upon our highway. Lord, deliver Nigeria from the power of the enemies of Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, pray for peace. A unity of Nigerian nation. And peace, a unity of our families. If you have ever prayed for peace for your family, you will understand. When family is at war, there will be witchcraft. People will not settle to do anything good. Are you ready? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for peace of Nigeria and I pray for peace of my family and for peace of dominion care. Let prosperity be within our war. Let joy be within our war. Lord, we pray that you will send peace and you will bestow peace upon the destiny of Nigeria and our family in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Several of our families are not saved. Shall we pray that salvation shall launch out to our family? I pray for the unsaved soul, for the salvation of the unsaved soul, unsaved soul, every soul in my father's house, every soul in Nigeria that have not yet known the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I read the spirit of salvation that they may know you as the only true God, that they may know you as the uncreated creator, that they will know you as the only savior, as the only deliverer, as the only person who will make her. Lord, I pray that my unsaved brethren shall be saved, unsaved people in my community shall be saved, that Jesus shall show himself to them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's pray for revival of righteousness. That people will begin to do the right thing wherever we are. When you, those of you in the market where there are union, if members of those unions are in court, they will try to favor their court members. They will manipulate justice. They will divide loyalty. And they will sell out their rights. They see, wherever Christ is, he is the king. To them that receive him, he gave power to become. Even to them that receive him, that believe in his name. I want us to pray, Father, wherever I am, from today, let there be revival of righteousness. Let my kingship begin to manifest. There shall be no manipulation of justice. There shall be no injustice in my family, in my marketplace, in my community, where I was born and where I live. I pray for a ball of revival of the fear of God, of revival of righteousness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You will pray this one. When evil continues to have its way, the righteous will go down at no time. But when evil is exposed as evil, the power will be weakened. This week, every evil manipulating underneath 
your environment shall be exposed. Are you here? Prayer said, God, let that be sudden exposure of every hidden evil around my life and let it be destroyed. Every hidden evil in my place of summer, let that be, oh God, is full and let it be destroyed. And not turn that you are not planted around me and within me, let it be uprooted and let it be set on fire. And not turn that you are not designed, that I design it, sir, let it be set on fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, lift up your hand. I want you to do this. Pray. Father, shout it again. Let there be healing of every idle hand in my family. Do you understand it? Even if you become a billionaire, if you are the only one that have money, the pressure you will leave will give you high blood pressure. Every phone call will be you. Every need will be you. In your time, may God raise trees of righteousness. I want you to pray, say, God, God, I pray, heal every idle heart. And my family and empower the house to walk from today and I never chase her. Lord, hell, every idol heart, every idol heart, and my family, every idol heart, and my family, every idol heart, and my family, and Father, let it ask me again. In Laka Pataya, in Ragadagadagada, in Ragadagadagada, in Katasulagadaya. In Jesus' name we pray. You know the reason why there are witchcraft and there's sudden death in several families? Because when some people are blessed with children and some people are not, there will be mockery, unnecessary mockery. Are we here? And sometimes, as those children begin to rise up, people will try to cut them down. But whosoever want to cut you down will be cut down. Amen. Let us intercede. Father in my family, Amen. let every barren womb find favor from God and be conceived and become a mother in my lifetime. Lord, I pray every womb in our congregation, every womb in our family, every single in our mess, Lord, we pray. Let up a visitation, let up a visitation, let up a visitation, let those worms of God concern, 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 concern. In Jesus, then we pray. Now, before I leave that side, I want you to pray. This is how to pray. I'm just teaching you how to pray. Are you here? Sometimes what to call prayer is not prayer. You are just making noise. This is how to pray. If people have been wounded spiritually, wounded spiritually, you know it is a problem where you can't sleep. Eh? Your body chemistry just receive divine instruction from God. The Bible said that God gives sleep to his beloved. But now you are here, you can't sleep. The God's word says he gives sleep to his beloved. So if I am beloved by the Lord, I cannot not lack sleep. 
I will remind God, this is what you say. Now, what is it that is making me not to sleep? Sometimes, you take the medicine. Medicine will not make you sleep. There are some of us, our bodies like Holy Ghost. Praise God. Except what God wants to do. That's why there is nothing you can do about peace. When you have peace, you can do everything. We are going to ask God to visit every wounded life in our congregation. Every wounded life in our family. We are going to ask the Lord to send anointing or healing upon everybody that is afflicted, that is sick in our midst, in our family, in our environment. Can we begin to ask the Lord, let the window heal her, the window heal her. I send the window heal her, the window heal her upon our family, the window heal her upon Dominique family, the window heal her upon my media family, the window heal her upon my siblings, the window heal her upon my brothers. That we not heal it upon my sisters, that we not heal it upon my family, upon my wife, upon my children. Lord, let every sick receive healing, receive healing, receive healing, receive healing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Come and lift up your hands to heaven. Are you getting something today? Are you learning how to pray? We are in the school of prayer. Somebody say, how can I pray, pastor? I said, the only way to know how to pray is to pray. What's prayer? Prayer is engaging God to act on your situation. Prayer is supernatural engagement. Where you give attention to God and say, God, come, let's talk about this matter. Prayer is a hard spiritual transaction with God. I'm talking to God and I'm expecting God to respond to me. That's prayer. Lift up your hands. May the oil and anointing of prayer come upon your spirit right now. In the name of Jesus. Every enslavement of you by the enemies of your life trying to hold you against your will, denying you what God has made you right. Hear the word of God by the thunder, by the power and anointed of the Holy God. I command you spirit behind the slave man be roasted to ashes in Jesus' name. Sometimes you don't do what you want to do. It is what you don't want to do you see yourself doing. I want to be free, but I can't get out of bitterness. I want to be free. I can't get out of anger. Every little thing make me forget who I am. Every little thing make me forget that people don't love me. Listen, if you are loved by the Lord, it's not important whether men love you or not. Somebody in love should not be looking for love. Come on, someone shout, I'm in love of God. I have been loved already. For my sake, Jesus came. And that's the final love. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive anointing to manifest your love. You shall be loved this way. Your house shall be loved. Love is the foundation of giving. When you don't receive, it's because there's no visible love somewhere. But this week, as you are loved, as you are loved, God will put a burden of you in the heart of men. People will remember you. People will be concerned about you. God will send customers your way. God will send connections your way. This week, you shall be remembered. The Lord shall supply your needs. The Lord shall send you help us. The Lord shall prosper your work. I pretend your door shall prosper. The power of God shall go your way. The Lord shall make way for you. 
Where there seems to be nowhere. I command the love of God in the east. You shall be located. The love of God in the west. You shall be located. The love of God in the south. You shall be located. The love of God in the north. You shall be located. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands to God. Don't tell him that you love him. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. In Jesus' mighty name. Be seated. Let me talk to you for a few minutes. So you don't say, I didn't preach today. Pastor just prayed. What was the message? You no preach. And that is what you will take home more. But my message is prophetic and message is instructive. I pray prophetically, I pray scripturally. Those of you who needed message must have gotten a lot of message. Praise God. Now, last week I told you about Isaiah 59:21. Isaiah 59:21. There are three things in that scripture. I'd like to remind you today. And then um, the text in that scripture is. The covenant, God talked about the covenant. As for me, this is my covenant with them. This is my covenant with them. Can I hear someone say, this is my covenant with them? Say the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee. My spirit that is upon thee. And my words which I have put in thy mouth. These are few agents of your prosperity. Shall not depart out of your mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy sea, nor out of the mouth of thy sea, sea, said the Lord, from henceforth and forever. Somebody asked me, Apostle, your children are not looking for job. You have a lot of connections. And I said to them, none of my child has gotten a job with my connections. None of them. All I know is that from their youth, we taught them covenant life. We taught them how to work with God. So they said that Ngozi at primary two went to a carpenter and built a seal. When you give him money to go to school, Ngozi will take out of the money and put in the safe and put it under the bed. One day we were looking for money. And we're sweeping the house. He didn't tell anybody. And we find out that box. And he wrote on it, Esther. And we waited for her to come back to, from school. I would say, what happened? He says, my, my saving. Who thought that we don't have saving? I don't have saving then. My wife doesn't have saving. But how come that this girl had saving? Either what they were teaching them in the, in the children's church and what she was watching from us, she developed a definition of what, how she wants to live. That's called a covenant life. You see, they will prosper people by entering into covenant with them. I will prosper you. Devil has the power to prosper you. But the truth is that devil will enter into bargain. How old are you? You say 30. If I prosper you for five years and you die, are you okay? You say yes. Five years is enough. We all know this. There's a, a man that is called one of um, something like that. Ezego. Ezego. When it was time for Ezego to die, he knew it was time for him to die. And they decided to go to the east. On the way, his new car stopped. New car stopped. And they brought a towing van to tow it. You guys know the story. As they were passing on a char, near that, getting to Newey, the rope caught, the chain caught. And his own car rolled into the ditch. That's how he died. It was time for him to die. Men that are in a hurry to make money, enter into covenant with the devil. And exchange their life, their longevity.
to die shortly. They were in a hurry, in a hurry to make money. And this also showed that they are ignorant about money. I will teach you about money during the week and next Sunday. I'm not going to anywhere near. Praise God. Are you here? I will teach you about money. So that all of us will know that money was designed for us. Money is not meant in heaven. In heaven, nobody spends money. There's nothing to buy. There's no house to build. All the houses have been built. And the houses that are built are built by the spoken word of God. Come on, are we here? The Bible says, the new Jerusalem, I saw a new Jerusalem coming out from the Lord. For the earth, the old earth and the heaven are no more. Jerusalem coming out from the Lord. So that is the negative covenant. But God is saying, the new covenant is also a covenant of prosperity. Abraham was so poor until he had an encounter with God. And God said, move out from where you are. Noah was so poor that God wanted to destroy him with the world. And the Bible said, Noah find grace. And he got an idea. And God said, build me an ark. And he built the ark for 40 years. And Noah became a millionaire. He became the first man that owned a ship. Praise God. Come on, are we here? The first money God gave to his children is idea. Ideas are the currency of heaven. And the Bible says, as he thinketh in his heart, so he what he is. So he is. He said, guide your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Listen, if you think poverty, and think how your father suffered poverty, how your mother suffered poverty and die, you will die like them. Are you here? But if you think away from the box and begin to think differently. My children don't think like I think. I am so mindful. When they want to give me money, they will be so definitive about the money. And they will choose the account to pay the money. Praise God. Because they know that anything, anything, anything in this church. So they have been taught about the culture of life. Teach your children to think about tomorrow. Someone will now stop telling my wife, I will buy you a car that will have not have key. Praise God. All right? You see them. It's not only my biological children. Where is divine? Where is your seat now? Bring him to see that here. Praise God. Now, these children are beginning to think in a different perspective. So look at this scripture. He talk about my covenant is with you. Abraham thought that what God promised is not going to happen. And so after 24 years, God came to him and said, the promise I made to you is still with you. But you are walked away from the covenant. Walk back. And be circumcised. Let your heart be on it. I have an agreement. I'm going to bless you. When you stop thinking that God has said, I am going to bless you, you will miss God's blessings. Come on, are we here? Start thinking the way God is thinking. My covenant is with you. As for me, my covenant is with you. Abraham, you need to change your name. Abraham, you need to circumcise your heart. Abraham, you need to guide your house. After that encounter, Abraham saw angels. What you are thinking will determine what you see. A man that sees all his life thinking about evil, we end up seeing evil. Stop the war. Look away from the war. Keep away from your pride. There's nothing there. I was asking one of my daughters years back in the Lord. He seems worried about this marriage thing. He said, Daddy, you have taught me that marriage is not in heaven. She had three people that came to marry her. And I said, those people will waste you. They will take you out of faith. They will take you out of life. 
You have already suffered growing up as a child. Wait on God. He says, so what do I do? I say, sack all of them. All of them. And they sack them. Not one time after the other. He sack them as they come. They, are, they didn't meet. This last one that came was a driver with um, the young. And they brought, he was so bold to bring the, the boy to my house. And I asked about what you say. He said, I mean, I mean, he can't even speak. I'm a driver with the young. He said, the young. I said, okay, you are welcome. So we prayed. They left. I called the gecko. You are in so much in a hurry, have you? I said, I must not hear about that boy. You know what? If you have a child, you should have a value on the child. What do we do as parents? No normal man can marry the daughter. But no normal man can just say, daughter, go. Make a, in fact, make a day free. It will be a postponed problem. Are we here? My daughter I'm talking about, it's a blessing to this church now. When God wanted to do it, God did it in such a manner that, we don't finish on the service. It was working in the finance. And they called came to me. Ah, we are looking for so-so person like this. I said, I have one. Because you must know the quality of what you have. And I made a recommendation. The guy have to come here, marry her. Periodically, they send us tight. It's helping us. If he has married the way he wanted to marry, he would have been coming. Mama, Gary Day. Mama, Bones Day. We never pay children school fees. Oh. I forbid it for you. If you marry late, marry well. Confident. Contest everything God wish you. In the marriage covenant is prosperity. In the marriage covenant are children. In the marriage covenant are good health. Praise God. And these are the content of God's promise. Hold on to it. The next one is the spirit of the covenant. When God enters into a covenant with you, the spirit of God enters into you. When the devil enters into a covenant with you, the spirit of the devil enters into you. So when you are working with God, God will be working through you. Are you here? All I have is grace. I know that God has given me grace. And I know that if you believe me, you will prosper. It doesn't matter how you are. It's one of one time opportunity. Things will change. And this is your year. And the last one is the word. The word of God. There's two words I want you to be careful about. One word is called poverty. Another word is called prosperity. So poverty is opposite of prosperity. Prosperity is opposite of poverty. The one you say is the one you attract. So when you say, I don't know, I'm like this. Oh, I'm just so unfortunate. You are speaking words of poverty. So I paused there. And I gave you the following note of my prayer note. This is a covenant. Covenant gives me access to God's throne. Covenant does what? Shout it. Covenant gives me access to God's, God's throne. When you have access to God's throne, you will be free from thrones. Number two, covenant gives me access to power. Somebody shout power. Close your eyes and shout power. Close your eyes and shout power. For it is the Lord thy God that gives you the power to make well. Covenant gives you power to make well. The covenant with Jesus gives you power to think money, to think idea, and to think well, and to become whom God has made you. Number three, Covenant gives me access to your nature, God's nature. I become like God. You can't offend me. You can't make me unhappy. Because there's something in me that is inside me that naturally makes me happy. God doesn't need anything to be happy. He has been God even before the creation. Are you still here? Number four. Covenant gives me access to your spirit. Someone shout spirit. Shout it. Shout it. 
It frees you from spirits, familiar spirits, abundant spirits, marine spirits, even occultic spirit that try to attack you at your place of assignment. Covenant gives me access to your word. It doesn't matter the word that's spoken against you. When you have the word of the covenant, you break down words of the devil. Number what now? Number six. Covenant gives me access to your treasures. To your treasures. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 7. Selba is mine. The gold is mine. Yet a little while, I will cause a shaking. And all the glory of all men, all the glory of all men shall be given unto me. That's verse 8. And I will shake all nations and desires of all nations. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, said the Lord. Covenant gives me access to God's treasure. To God's treasures. This week, you will have access to money. Number 8. 7. Covenant gives me access to God's fullness. God's fullness is God's presence. When you start trading in God's presence, in God's presence, you will become supernatural magnet. Angels will connect you like Abraham. Are we here? Good things will connect you. Strangers will come to your gate. They will be opening gate for you. Alright? Because you begin to live in the fullness of God. Number nine, covenant gives me access to your dominion. Dominion is being in charge and being a ruler over your house. Prophetically, you, pro you pronounce and you proclaim what you have. Number 10, covenant gives me access to your glory. Glory is values. Value. You start seeing value. You start seeing something good in people. You start seeing something good in you. You start discovering your quality, your ability, and things that you can do. Are we here? Covenant gives me access to your anointing. That's the empowerment. You can't enter into a covenant with God without God giving you his kind of power. He will give you his kind of power. Somebody lay your hand on your head and say, I am carrying God's power. Because I'm in covenant with the living God. Who is all powerful. Who is all powerful. Alright. So. So the covenant. The spirit of the covenant. And the word of the covenant. Is what makes prosperity. And if there is any mountain. Against you and your finances. These things are supernatural resistors. It's a simple message I've given to you today. And I pray that you will stay on them until we meet on Tuesday morning. Praise God. Study them, teach it to your house. In fact, you can make them cram it. Love it. Where are you? All the teenagers will cram this on Saturday. Right? And on Sunday, they have, some of them have to recite it to us. How many are there now? Ten. Ten blessings of covenant. Ten blessings of covenant. Those are your keys against financial mountains. Did I deliver my message? Can we rise to our feet? Thank you for your time. This is our school of prayer. We are still in the school of prayer. I have a whole manual I wrote on prayers and I will make sure that I taught you and I will be sure that you are taught. I promise to release a book today and um, Incidentally, the printer disappointed. So the book will be out. It's called um, Minister's Handbook. It is something that it gives you the ten, the eight names of the Holy Spirit God gave to me. And it shows you the encounters I have with the Holy Ghost all my life in ministry. You will need them. And um, once they are out, you can finish it in just two days. Shall we rise to our feet? Lift your hands to God. Can I hear someone say, I believe in the covenant? I'm a child of the covenant. I believe in the spirit of the covenant. I believe in the word of the covenant. And I believe in the power of the covenant. And the covenant with God is wealth. I have access to wealth. I have access to connections. I have access to opportunities. I have access to manifest glory with value. So this is my week. 
you mountains against my finances in the name of Jesus I uproot you in the name of Jesus beginning from this work I will manifest as a child of the covenant with wealth and prosperity in Jesus mighty name God bless you see you on Tuesday